Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to talk about the 12 figure coffin box of uh, the Slug Zombies. Um, these are Series 2. Um, got these three marked down to $3 for 12 figures, so that was a, a, the best deal of the, the lot of ones I got. Um, I saw around that there were some mystery boxes as well, um, but at the time I didn't know if this was that or this was just 12 figures. And actually, it is just all the ones you see on the back of the box here, which is uh, good to know. I think my other box is the same exact duplicate as well, so I might just leave that one closed. But um, there's a uh, yeah different kind of ones, and uh, the two tan ones are the the hero characters, and the green ones are all the uh, the zombies. And I got mashup Mike. Gator Jones, Stu Biu, Jump Shot Rot, Grim Trekker, Macho Mangler, Maximus Cadaverous, Teddy Terror, Andrew Agony, Dr. Outbreak, Captain Payback, and Cleopatra coming at you. So I'm sure a lot of you guys can tell who the reference is right away, which is which is always fun. Um, here's what happens when you, when you open it. This is what it looks like. It's got this cool plastic tray that I, I saved to uh, maybe make a mold out of or uh, for like a diorama for rocks or something. It's kind of interesting how the figures is kind of all placed in there. That They're not really cutouts for the, the figures per se. It's just kind of this weird pattern. Kind of horrific, I guess, in a way. Um, so yeah, I was working on on all these pictures and stuff for my site, and I was going to do little write-ups for each one. So I might do the actual review part later, and this will just be the the painting part of it. Um, it's, I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but I've been really busy, so I'll just kind of go through here. Maybe it'll inspire me to get back at it. I try to match them up, but we'll see here. The first one is uh, the Indiana Jones guy and uh, I can't help but thinking it's Indiana Jones on the face here he really looks like a skull a lot more than uh, some of the other figures look more like a human still so I wonder if they were getting into some licensing problems or all that corporate nonsense um, but I kinda I wish it looked more like a, a human there and uh, I wish he had, I, I think I'm going to add a whip or something. Maybe I'll figure out how to sculpt one there. Um, yeah, here's the first step I, I did painting him. Some pictures I, I've taken more, worked on more than others. But uh, yeah, I, I couldn't get past the idea that it's Indiana Jones. So I just went with that theme and kind of rough, rough in the paint job. Like I, if you see my other videos, that's kind of what I do. And then I refine it as I go. But I got lucky because I was trying to figure out it was getting hard to blend some of the the colors because I don't really have that many supplies at the moment. Uh, so what I did was I, I found this cool mixture of like a purpley uh, pink color to make the, the skin kind of look like a zombie, I guess. like the blood's like seeping out of their, their body. So I, I, I put that effect on all of them. And it worked especially well on the eyes on a lot of the figures. So that guy's coming along pretty well. I got I think I'm going to paint the his little man purse there, a, a white tan. Here's the, uh, I'm not sure who this guy's supposed to be. I think he kind of looks like Charlton Heston, but I'm not sure. If you guys know who this guy's, reference is supposed to be let me know but he has some really nice details in his his armor there a lot of the figures have this kind of crooked stance that I don't really care for where their their feet kind of cross in here's what I did of him I, I went with the kind of the Roman red look uh, I think I'm gonna make this a little darker red actually And uh, here's some gold. Put some gold paint on there. I think I 
like how to make it look more like bronze, though. It kind of looks too gold, but we'll see there. This one's a lot roughed in more than the other one. Uh, but yeah, nice, interesting step there. Uh, here's another picture I took. I painted a little bit more in. Uh, don't mind this part here. i got to fix that. But his leg looks kind of cool. I kind of made like a little gores coming down his leg. Uh, some streaks of blood on his arm. I This part here, some parts look better than others. Uh, I kind of blackwashed in his eyeballs there. And then I'll, I'll go back and paint them in or... One of the other things was maybe I'll just black out all the eyeballs. And my, it looks kind of cool that way too. So, And I added some silver to the sword to make a, a contrast a little more. And some dings on his little shoulder armor like he's been getting into fights and whatever. I guess this guy's supposed to be like a macho man. But I think he looks more like Hulk Hogan, but... Because Hulk Hogan's more bulky, I think, than Macho Man was. But I see Hulk Hogan more when I when I look at him. So I kind of went with that with that theme, you know. His, his, he kind of has the McDonald's colors as well. And uh, decided to paint the the top of his hat there black, make it a. Uh, Make it a little different there, I guess. Might paint like a little skull and crossbone on there if I do can do that. And uh, yeah, his eyes look really cool with that that purple effect I got. Let me uh, let me go back here, show you guys a little closer view. Yeah, what other ones did I get to? Uh, you guys have seen that one? Uh, yeah, here's another picture a little farther along. Yeah, I painted the purple and then I put that black wash in there. It kind of, I kind of overdid it. Some of these spots here uh, are a little crazy, especially right here, but. It'll all, it's part of my process, so you'll you'll see what it does. But I like that one. That one's fun. I don't really know what to do with the colors though, because it's kind of limited, I guess. Uh, here's a basketball player. I'm not sure who it was supposed to be. I guess somebody said it was supposed to be Michael Jordan, because his numbers are reversed. Uh, but I didn't really see a resemblance in the face, so, and I thought it would be funny to make, make like a Celtics person. Um, I also, one other reason to make him green is because I wanted the basketball to really stand out almost as a, like a weapon. Uh, he has that thing too where his feet point in, which I don't really care for. Uh, so, but if I made him a different, his, uh, Uniform dark, then the ball kind of looks sticks out a little bit more. Uh, this picture is a little blurry here, but yeah, I think I've been putting the the black wash on too much on the eyes and the other ones, but that one looks really nice there. Kind of, it looks kind of retarded in his hands there, but I guess they are supposed to be dead zombies. That's as far as I got now. And this one here is just like a a mad cook, I guess, but. I don't know if he's supposed to be a movie reference or not. I always thought his he always kind of looked like he had a, a medical s slipper on or something. It's kind of weird. But this is one of the most gruesome ones in the the set, and I wish more of them were kind of like like more like this, more gruesome, like the the garbage pill kids and whatnot. Uh, so this one turned out really nice in the in the face here. He kind of has that. He kind of reminds me of that Pizza the Hut from the Spaceballs movie. He's pretty muscular too for a cook. Oh, I thought I had another picture of it. I I painted somewhere. I 
Maybe I didn't take a picture of it, but I painted the bucket kind of like a silver metallic, I guess. And then uh, he's got a wooden spoon as well. It's kind of funny. I guess this is supposed to be a mad scientist. And I like the other figure that Mr. Jingles, I think, as it was. I didn't want to have the white lab coat, but I couldn't resist having the, the white coat with this guy. But, uh, they did paint his shirt like a dark green and the pants is gray. Kind of keep the, the tones kind of dark on this one. Uh, I think I'm going to change his hair color. I don't think the blonde work, works too well. Maybe I'll, I was thinking maybe going like a fantasy route, maybe make it like a like a orange or something, but I'm not sure with that one. Uh, here's one I, I added some different colors there. Filled in his eyes with black there, and uh, these look. The picture doesn't do too good a job here on this one, but got a lot more work to do on that one. Uh, here's the the repeat of that one from that last video. I guess this guy's supposed to be, I don't know who he's really supposed to be. He kind of reminds me of Uncle Fester. So I kind of went with that idea. Yeah, that's kind of this one's really cool because he doesn't have any eyes; he just has the eye sockets, which is really cool. But it, but see, his uh, this one's more the most exaggerated, I think, because his feet are pointing in, and it makes it look like he's got a pee. <laughs> I think it'd be more powerful if his if he was leaning forward, you know, instead of like barely standing up, but. So that one's that one's very cool. Here's the the tennis player. Uh, he's really cool because he's got a brain. That's like really cool. <laughs> That's really gruesome. The, it looks kind of like oblong though. I think it, they're more compact. But this is kind of like a football almost. I don't know what to do with the tennis racket because I can't make it clear obviously and it. So I painted it gray until I figure out what to what to do with it there. He has some nice details there. His hair looks pretty cool. Yeah, I painted the the brain a lot. I think what I might try to do eventually is to take some like I don't know. Somehow kind of beat up glue, maybe if it will if I use like white glue if it dries and strings down like a little glob like it's like it's dripping if I could do that that would be really cool and there's a lot of other ideas for little add-ons too that I I've been thinking of but uh, we'll see how it goes but that one's kind of fun here's the guy who's supposed to be like uh, one of the heroes it's supposed to be uh, the crocodile Dundee guy I guess but he kind of is real similar to Indiana Jones and in his style, but still pretty fun. He's got little, they kind of look like bullets in his hat, but I guess they're probably supposed to be teeth. And he uh, looks like, that was the guy's name, Paul Hogan, I think. And uh, yeah, kind of fun to paint that one. I got a cool little like uh, crackly effect on the pants there. Kind of looks like he's been uh, like working in the shop or something, or, and a lot of uh, dust kicking up. So that was a cool little effect. Uh, here's the the Rambo guy, and uh, this guy is a lot of fun to paint. He has a, he has a bazooka and a uh, like a big ammo belt around him. He's got a little knife here on his uh, 
left foot too in the in the eye patch there. And uh, yeah, he was a lot of fun. I kind of painted. I looked up some pictures of Rambo, and it's like he's kind of all one color a lot of times. He's like either all black or he's all green. And uh, but for a figure, I think I'm, I painted him three different shades of green just to make it stand out more since they're so small. I don't know who this guy's supposed to be, but he's kind of like a punk motorcycle bike guy, I guess. You got a big old skull uh, necklace there. It's pretty cool. A lot of cool, fun things to paint on this one. Yeah, his face looks pretty cool there in that one. It was a little... The little lines there. What I'll do is go back and paint some uh, that purple again over it, so it kind of makes parts of it darker, and then I'll look like the skin will be kind of wearing off as well. I think I'm. I think I should have painted his mohawk like a like a hot pink or a hot green or something like that. I think the yellow kind of looks a little like the other one. Uh, here's I just took another picture of that. Cleopatra one. Uh, this is the same figure. I didn't repaint it or anything. This is a different picture of it. So that one's coming along really well. This one's... A, these ones are easier because I don't have to blend like a figure because treat it like stone. But uh, Here's that one too as well. But You've seen that one. So uh, that, that's all the figures in that pack. Uh, kind of went through that real quick, but... Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll let you guys know when I if I do the other traditional writing reviews of it or not. And uh, yeah, if you see these around, this is what they look like, and uh, they're they're a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for them.